Has anyone ever experienced a real-life porn scenario? In NYC, my roommate and I popped into a strip club for a nightcap before heading home for the night. My roommate got friendly with one of the girls and gave her his number and our address. We left the club with zero expectations. A couple of hours later, around 2-3 am, there's a knock on the door and there's our girl. She showed up. I was awake but my roommate was asleep. So I started hooking up with her and she gave me a BJ, then she asked where my roommate was. So I brought her into his room and woke him up. You should have seen the expression on his face when he woke up to find a stripper, half naked, in his room. He said, is this for me? Funniest thing I've ever seen or heard in my life. It was either tens or VIP. In the the flat iron area. My roomie told me she got on top of him and rode him. She did not ask for money. She was just really horny and needed X. We got lucky. Right place, right time. Not sure if this counts because it wasn't a completely random porn scenario but, in college I was banging my teacher. The first time, her lawyer boyfriend was out of town so she tells me to come over. Knock on her door and she answers wearing some see-through lingerie. I proceed to finger blast her for a while, her BF calls in the middle of it, before we go upstairs. Then she makes me use her brand new vibrator on her, because she was scared to do it herself. She makes me call her by her last name the whole time for example, Ms. Derpet. Afterwards we go see a movie and sit in the back so other students don't see us. Does this count? In 2007 I was working at my first real job. Front end web developer, the only one. Small non-profit. Our IT department was only 4 people. I was 25 at the time. I had my own office that, when you shut the door, was private. The COO of the company's executive assistant was 23. Incredibly hot. Hotter than hot. Smoking hot. I had been working there for about a month. I was just starting to get to know some of the other folks in the office by this point. Making friends with other people in my age range. 5 years younger or older than me. As an aside I'd never really dated anyone I considered this hot before. I had dated 5 different people, serious relationships, in my life up until this point. Only one of those 5 even came close to being as hot as she. I felt she was way out of my league. This girl was very friendly but not any more so than other females in the office. When talking to her, I never really had it in my head that I could ever be in a relationship with her because I would have no chance with someone this drop dead gorgeous. We're talking blue eyes, blonde hair, 130 pounds, nice chest, very energetic, gorgeous. Progressively, she began talking to me more and more over I am at the office. One afternoon, while I was working on our website, she shot me an I am out of the blue asking if I was busy. I told her no, just working. She then asked if she could come by my office for something. I said sure. I closed the IM window, immediately forgetting about it and going back to work. Two minutes later, she comes into my office. No smile on her face. Almost with a pissed off look. I thought, uh oh, what did I do to piss her off? She turns upon entering, shuts the door, locks it. Strolls over behind my desk and pushes my chair forward into the desk, so she could get to my blinds behind me. She shuts the blinds rather quickly. All the while, what's going through my head is, okay, she shut the door, she locked it, shutting the blinds, what the f? Is she going to hit me? By this time the blinds were shut. She grabs the back of my chair, and spins me around. She spreads her legs and straddles me, facing me. Wraps her arms around my neck grabbing my face and starts kissing me the most passionately any girl had ever kissed me in my life. I didn't know what to do for the first few seconds I was so surprised. That feeling left very quickly though and I began kissing her back. This went on for several minutes all the while she grabbed one of my hands and moved it to under her skirt where I discovered that she wasn't wearing any underwear. After discovering this she pulled away with the most sexy, devilish grin on her face and said, Forcefully, you're sleeping at my place tonight. She turned, and wrote her address down on a post-it note on my desk. Be there by 8. She stood up and slowly straightened up her clothes and then bent down over top of me, adjusting my shirt, my collar, stuff like that, all the while planting her chest in my face. After straightening up, 
She turned and walked to the door, unlocking it and casually strolling out of my office as if we had just had a completely normal workplace interaction. To complete the story, I had the best ex I've ever had over the next two months while at that job. Several months later, we broke it off, both going out separate ways, amicably. While we both enjoyed the ex, we had too little else in common. We were able to keep the relationship secret from all other co-workers. It was the most daring I had ever felt during those two or three months, mostly because I'm somewhat boring normally. I still have no idea why she was so turned on by me. I could be wrong but she wasn't trying to make another guy jealous or anything like that, as far as I know, no one else ever knew this was going on as she lived alone and we never really hung out with other people while together. We would basically just go to one or the other's apartment several days a week and have ex all night long. It was great. After posting this I sat here reminiscing in my head of those couple wonderful months and I remembered that the first night I came over, at 8pm, I knocked on the door. No answer immediately just a muffled, come on in, it's unlocked. I walked in and set my bag down near the door, taking a couple more steps into the living room. From down the hallway, from her bedroom, I hear footsteps and turn to look. There she is, standing there wearing a black and red lace thong, stocking garter belt, and lace corset. Heaven. Was at a hotel taking a shower. The maid entered and asked if I needed any towels. I didn't and was actually a little pissed that had she'd enter while I was showering. The bathroom didn't even have a door. I'm done showering now and pretty much dressed, but still shirtless. She comes in again, bringing towels what the f, but then mentions how she likes my arms. She asked if she could squeeze my bicep. Sure I say. Then she goes on to fondling my chest, then stomach, and then next thing I know she's sitting me down on the bed and going down on me. I had a double room with a friend and this was all while he was out getting breakfast in the lobby. This was the first tip I ever left a maid. After it happened, I couldn't believe it. It just felt like it was something straight out of a prawn movie. I still just crack up laughing about it now and then. I worked for an ISP and one of my roles was doing house calls for new tenants at buildings we provided service in. Most of the time these visits were pretty normal but occasionally I would end up in a situation that I hoped would turn into a penthouse forum story. Little did I know that eventually this would happen and I would completely choke. I received an install request for a condo building I worked in frequently. At first nobody is coming to the door so I waited a minute and then knocked again. I hear. Hold on, and when the door opens there is this beautiful woman who looks half awake and she is wearing a skimpy nightgown. I'm not positive if I noticed she was beautiful or that she was wearing a nightie because the first thing I noticed was that one of her tees was completely out of the nightgown. I tried to play it off like everything was fine and I told her I was there to hook up her service. She tells me it's in the bedroom and starts to lead me there. As soon as she turns around I can see her ass cheeks hanging out from the bottom of the gown and she is wearing no underwear. In my mind I'm trying to rationalize that this woman is just completely comfortable with herself or maybe she doesn't realize how much she is hanging out. When we walk into her bedroom she points to the location she wanted activated and then climbs into bed. Now I'm getting a full view of everything down there. Again, I try to ignore it by having small talk and pretending everything is normal. I start working on setting up her connection and she is adjusting in the bed and still talking to me. When I look over I can now see both of her teeth hanging out and she's still talking to me like nothing is wrong. I thought the situation couldn't get stranger but then she starts talking to me about how she was in a car accident early in the morning. She says how she had been drinking and smashed up her car pretty bad. Even worse was that she had just picked it up after getting the car fixed from a previous drunk driving accident. Now I'm starting to think that this chick is a bit off. She doesn't fail by proceeding to tell me that hopefully she won't have to pay for the repair work because there is a mechanic in the building that usually does work for free when she gives him BJs. At this point I'm wondering what the hell I walked into. This situation was always a fantasy but it was just too much for me. There were red flags all over the place. I'm now wondering what I'm going to do if she makes an advance towards me. My D was still telling me to go for it but my brain was telling me that I'm going to regret it. Luckily I had an easy out. I was close to finishing and she got a phone call from the mechanic. 
She tells me how she has to run over to his place to give him the keys for her car but that she would be right back and to please stay because she wants to tip me. Once she left I finished as fast as I could and I practically ran out of her home. Months later I couldn't get her out of my mind. She was so hot and I almost felt bad for not sticking around but she had to have been bad she's crazy. Being too curious for my own good, I decided to check her email account that I had created. What do I find? An invoice from an online pharmacy where she was purchasing herpes medication. Almost had X with a customer who had herpes. I'm a banquet server and at one event I spilled candle hot wax all over my uniform. At that point my manager was thinking about just sending me home. One of my co-workers informed us that ironing the wax through a layer of brown paper bag gets wax out of anything. My manager gave us the key to open any hotel room and told us the closest iron is in a hotel room. We went to the front desk and asked where an empty room is, and that it was an emergency. So me and my hot ass co-worker wander up to an empty hotel room during our work shift. I ducked her like I imagined myself ducking Sasha Grail Lisa Ran. It was of course, a dark and rainy night and my car breaks down several hours from my home. A friend's brother is working on his father's farm not too far away and is rather handy under the hood. He shows up, cannot get my car started, so he takes me back to his father's farm. Everyone is gone and the house is locked, so we end up in the barn, alone, in the dark and the rain, Cupron music. It gets better though. When the rain stops, he takes me back to my car and spends a couple of hours getting it to work. By now it is almost dawn. I asked how I could repay him, he bent me over the hood of my car, right there at the side of the road. I still get horny when I smell hay, or look too long at the hood of my car. Okay, to be clear for everyone. I definitely gave him appropriate cues to suggest I wanted him and when he moved in, I definitely reciprocated. He also would have stopped had I said no, I know this guy. Really, I swear, nothing close to rapey, not weeds. Just good horny, hot fun.